Hey everyone, welcome back to the new video of Simplifying DevOps by Cube Simplify. My name is Barkatul Mujauddin and I am a Cube Simplify ambassador. So in today's video, we will be discussing about what is Linux and some basic terms in Linux. So let's get started. From smartphones to cars, supercomputers to home appliances and home desktops to enterprise server, Linux is everywhere. Linux has been around since the mid 1990s and has since reached a user base that spans the globe. Linux is actually everywhere. It's in your phones, your thermostats, your cars, your refrigerators, televisions. It also runs most of the internet. All the world's top 500 supercomputers and the world's stock exchange. Now, what is Linux? Like Windows, Mac OS or iOS, Linux is an operating system. In fact, one of the most popular platforms on the planet. Android is also powered by the Linux operating system. What is an operating system? An operating system is a software that manages all the hardware resources associated with your desktop or laptop. To put it simply, the operating system works to facilitate communication between your software and your hardware. Without the operating system, the software wouldn't work. Now, let's discuss how does Linux work. As we have earlier discussed that Linux is an operating system. So, think of an operating system like a car engine. An engine can run on its own, but it becomes a functional car when it's connected to a transmission, axle, wheels, etc. Without the engine running correctly, the rest of the car won't work. Linux has become the world's largest open source project and one of the main reason is its community. Professional and hobbyist programmers and developers from around the world contribute to the Linux kernel adding features, finding and fixing bugs and security flaws, life patching and providing new ideas, all while sharing their contributions back to the community. Basically, Linux was designed to be similar to Unix but has evolved to run on various hardware from phones to supercomputers. As we have discussed what is Linux and how does Linux work, now let's discuss about some basic terms in Linux. The Linux operating system comprises several different pieces. One of the most important is bootloader. Now bootloader is a software that manages the boot process of your computer. For most users, this will simply be a splash screen that pops up and eventually goes away to boot into the computer operating system. One of the most important part of Linux is kernel. This is the one piece of the whole that is actually called Linux. The kernel is the core of the system and manages the CPU, memory and peripheral devices. It is the lowest level of the operating system. The main factor is that kernel is not the operating system but it is the heart of the Linux operating system. What is init system? This is a subsystem that bootstraps the user space and is charged with controlling daemons. One of the most widely used init system is systemd. It is the init system that manages the boot process once the initial booting process is handed over from the bootloader that is grub which means grand unified bootloader. Now, what is daemons? Daemons are background services that either start up during the boot or after you log into the desktop. Example, printing, scheduling, sound, etc. Graphical server. Graphical server is the subsystem that displays the graphics on your monitor. As we have discussed that desktop environments include built-in applications, but it do not offer full array of apps. Just like Windows and Mac OS, Linux offer thousands upon thousands of high quality software that can be easily found and installed. Most modern Linux distributions 
we will discuss linux distributions later in this video so most modern linux distributions include app store like tools that centralize and simplify application installation process for example ubuntu linux has the ubuntu software center a rebrand of genome software ubuntu software center basically allows you to quickly search among the thousands of apps and install them from one centralized place why should i use linux this is the one question that most people ask why bother learning a completely different computing environment when the operating system that ships with most desktops laptops and servers works just fine to answer that question i would pose another question does that the operating system you are currently using works just fine or do you find yourself battling obstacles like viruses malware slowdowns crashes costly repairs and licensing fees if you struggle with these linux might be the perfect platform for you linux has evolved into one of the most reliable computer ecosystems on the planet now combine that reliability with zero cost of entry and you have the perfect solution for a desktop platform yes that's right zero cost of entry as in free you can install linux on as many computers as you like without paying a cent for software or licensing fee so as we have uh, used the term linux distributions in this video few times so let's discuss what is linux distributions basically linux has a number of different versions to suit any type of user from new users to hardcore users you will find a flavor of linux to match your needs these versions are called linux distributions or in the short form linux distros nearly every distribution of linux can be downloaded for free or burned onto disk and uh, you can uh, install on as many machines as you want so these are the some popular linux distributions you can use as you can see so some of the server distributions shown are free such as ubuntu so yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you find this video useful if you did make sure to follow cube simplify and if you want to connect with me the links are in the description and all the resources links are in the description also so make sure to check it out 